हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एस्पायरिंग स्टूडेंट यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन ए गुड न्यूज़ फ्रॉम द इंश्योरेंस इंडस्ट्री दैट एन नेशनल इंश्योरेंस कंपनी लिमिटेड हैज रिलीज्ड ए न्यू रिक्रूटमेंट फॉर बोथ स्पेशलिस्ट एंड जर्नलिस्ट कैटेगरी पोस्ट माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ओके सो दिस इज ए स्पेशल गिफ्ट फ्रॉम गिफ्ट फॉर ऑल द कैंडिडेट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर वेरियस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स एस्पेशली बैंक एंड इंश्योरेंस एग्जाम्स माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ न्यू ईयर from the insurance industry so let's see here national insurance company limited recruitment of 274 administrative officers abo post including of both generalist and specialist categories scale 1 my dear friends okay online registration and details let's see here online registration is going to start on 2nd january 2024 Last date for the online registration is twenty second January twenty twenty four, my dear friends. Okay, payment of fees is also included both sec from second to twenty second January twenty twenty four. Date of phase one download of call letter and phase two, all these things will be notified later. Okay, guys. So detailed advertisement will also be published in Employment News dated on sixth January twenty twenty four. So regarding this. Um, in employment news also we have a detailed notification on 6th january 2024 which is published on 6th january 2024 let's see the category wise post my dear friends and the candidate should apply through online mode only no other means application will be accepted okay so let's see in the, this is the specialist category post mbbs doctors mbbs legal finance actuarial Information Technology, Automobile Engineering, Hindi Rajya Sabha Officers. So in Doctors, MBBS category twenty eight, Legal twenty, Finance thirty, Actuarial two, Information Technology twenty, Automobile Engineering twenty, Hindi Rajya Sabha Officers twenty post, and these are the category wise post, my dear friends. For unreserved, we have fifty seven, OBC thirty three, SC twenty six, ST twelve, EWS fourteen, out of PWD category, category A two. B to C to D and D also we have two posts. Okay, these are the specialist posts. Now let's see the generalist posts where most of the candidates are eligible. For generalist we have one thirty post. Okay, for generalist we have one thirty post and a backlog of two posts, my dear friends. Two posts. So in this one thirty for unreserved we have sixty eight OBC twenty four SC eighteen ST seven. EWS thirteen, and in PWD category, category A we have one, category B we have two, category C we have three, category D and D we have three, and in the backlog vacancies we have two. No, these two vacancies belongs to ST category. Okay, guys, ST category. So this is all about the vacancies list of NICL AO. Next, so this is the minimum qualification. Education qualification, and these things we will see it later. So age, one of the most important factor. So minimum age, twenty one. Maximum is thirty as on first of first December twenty twenty three, my dear friends. Okay. So minimum age is twenty one. Maximum age is thirty. Okay. Sorry. Candidate must. Candidate must have been born not earlier than two twelve nineteen ninety three and not later than one twelve two thousand two. Okay, and the relaxation is applicable as well as for SC and ST five years, OBC three years, PW candidates ten years, ex servicemen five years. These reservation categories, age relaxation reservations are as usual. Next. Here comes the examination pattern. We have both prelims and mains. So in the prelims we have hundred questions. First we have English, thirty questions, twenty minutes. Reasoning, thirty five questions. Quant, thirty five questions, twenty minutes. Total, hundred questions, hundred marks. Sixty minutes is the time, my dear friends. One hour. Okay, sixty minutes is the time. Next. Here you can see candidates have to qualify in each test 
or section by securing passing marks to be decided by the company adequate number of candidates in each category as decided by the comp company approximately 15 times the number of vacancies will be taken for the mains my dear friends so usually we have 1 is to 10 or 1 is to 20 but in this exam we are going to have 1 is to 15 for the mains approximately that is also it might be 1 is to 11 or 1 is to 12 1 is to 13 whatever it might be okay approximately the maximum is 1 is to 15 next talking about the mains exam yes okay so in the mains examination we have 250 marks and a descriptive for 30 marks okay both the objective test and the descriptive test will be online okay so time duration is three hours consists of five and six sections for journalists specialists respectively for total 250 marks okay first we have for journalists we are, i am telling reasoning 50 questions 50 marks 40 minutes okay sectional time is limited my dear friends here okay S same like uh, we write ibbs clerk sba clerk RRB PO clerks, sorry RRB PO clerk we don't have sectional time, IBPS PO just like that, okay. English 50 questions 50 marks 40 minutes, general awareness 50 questions 50 marks 30 minutes, computer knowledge 50 questions 50 marks 30 minutes, quant 50 questions 50 marks 40 minutes, total 250, 250 questions my dear Okay, total 250 questions, 250 marks, 3 hours is the time. Next, descriptive test. The descriptive test for 30 minutes duration with 30 marks will be a test of English language, essay 10 marks, precise 10 marks and comprehension 10 marks. The descriptive test will be English and will be conducted through online mode only. Okay, online mode only. So the descriptive test will be qualifying nature and marks scored in descriptive test will not be counted towards the shortlisting for interview. Okay. Hope you get this. Each candidate will be required to obtain minimum total, minimum total score in the objective test and qualify the descriptive, te the descriptive test for shortlisting for interview. Okay. Penalty for wrong answers. So that is one fourth I think every time. Yes. <laughs> this is the examination pattern for specialist categories. Just a second. Special category exams also we have here. That most of the candidates are uh, that known to me are generalists. So that's why I'm discussing about that mainly. So last but not the least, part C interview. Generalist and specialist candidates who have been shortlisted online for phase 2 examination and Hindi Raj Sabha candidates who have been shortlisted based on the online written test will be subsequently called for interview to, con to be conducted by the company. Okay. So last phase is interview. That thing is weak. okay. Final selection. See here. The combined final score of candidates shall be arrived on the basis of score obtained by the candidates on online mains examination. The weightage of online mains examination and interview will be 20, 80 is to 20 respectively. So 80 marks, total 250 marks now. After 250 marks, they, they reduce it to 80 marks and 20 marks for interview. Okay guys, candidates will have to secure minimum qualifying marks in the interview which will be decided by the company in due course. Next, and this is the examination fees for SC and ST 250 marks, sorry, 250 rupees, SC, ST, and PWD candidate 250 rupees, including of GST for all other candidates 1000 rupees. Okay, guys, and these are the examination centers. Okay. Handwritten declaration, okay, we have all these things. 
so for the for every examination we submit the same thing no general information okay that's it so this is all about the nicl evo generalist and specialist examination category my dear friends hope this is a very good news from the insurance industry for the new year okay guys so i wish you a very very good luck for all the candidates and i wish a very good luck for the candidates who are waiting for rrb po and clerk final result on 1st of january 2024 okay guys and please share this important update with all your friends and different social media platforms thanks for watching thank you so much